Okay, so today I have for you another kind of pale skin themed thing, but I'm going to go through drugstore foundations that are good and pale enough for pale skin. Um, I'll start with the, this is a really gross bottle, so I apologize, the TLC Truly Lasting Color 16 Hour Makeup in Ivory. Uh, this was the first actual foundation, not this actual bottle, but the first brand of foundation that I ever used. It is nice, it's pale, it's rather neutral, it's not too pink. Um, <clears throat> Rimmel Stay Matte has a fantastic range of shades. It goes from really light to really dark. Uh, I have 091 Light Ivory, um, which actually isn't even, I think there's one lighter than this. Um, I had to try several different shades because a couple of them were actually too pale for me, which is a huge rarity, especially in drugstore foundation, but um, it's an awesome, very high coverage foundation. Um, I do enjoy it. I like it kind of more matte in like the winter time, but uh, I also have the NYC All Day Long Smooth Skin Foundation. I think I've used this in a couple of my get ready's. This is Classic Ivory 737. Um, that is also a really nice neutral foundation. And then another Rimmel is the Lasting Finish 25 Hour with Comfort Serum. <clears throat> this is 91 Light Ivory. Uh, I did a review on this. I'll put it down in the down bar. Uh, so you can get an idea of it. I did the review on actually the shade above this, not realizing that there was an even paler one. Um, so this one's even paler, which is nice. Uh, the other one, the one above, is doable too. Uh, and I have two of the Revlon Nearly Naked, um, both Ivory and Vanilla are very pale. Um, vanilla is a little more yellow and ivory is more pink uh, so that is the difference but I like usually I like vanilla a little better because the yellow kind of helps in contra counter counteract the the redness that I have in my cheeks and stuff so and another Revlon of course is the Revlon color stay and that's in 110 ivory so that's super pale I do use that to mix into other foundations to lighten them up too which is a hint that if you do get <clears throat> a drugstore foundation or another foundation that doesn't match you and is a little too dark, definitely try using a lighter foundation and mix it together to lighten it up. Uh, I do that a lot with my foundations. Uh, sometimes I found an even better combination that I like better than the foundation all by itself. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me. Uh, this is... The original one, so I think it's the dewy one now. Uh, it's in 110. I would assume that the matte and poreless one would be just as pale. Uh, hopefully, it is. Uh, I have another another Revlon. This is the Age Defying 05 and Fresh Ivory. Um, I like this one. I also can get away sometimes with the one up from this, which is Bare Buff. Uh, during like the summer <coughs> sorry I still my throat is still so crappy um, but I only think that I don't like about the Revlon age defying with DNA actually it's, it's one of those that has the sparkles in it um, so I typically won't wear it if I'm gonna be like outside or in the Sun or something because it does get really glittery and that's not really like an effect that I like. I know a lot of foundations that are supposed to be luminous or age minimizing, they use mica and that kind of stuff to try to like reflect things, but I just not, I'm just not a fan of it. Uh, this one is the Body Shops Moisture Foundation. Uh, this is in 04 and this I really like, it is kind of yellow. Um, I really like it though. Uh, I got it when it was on like clearance, but now they've kind of jumped up the price. So that one is more expensive than these other ones. Uh, and lastly, 
I did a review on this as well, so I'll link that down there too. But this is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous in 810. And this one is very pale. Actually, it might be like a little bit too pale for me as well. And I'm pretty, pretty pale, as you can probably tell. Um, so I'll link the review for that one below. But that is the, all the, the liquid foundations. And then I have two powder ones. I have the L'Oreal's True Match... Uh, mineral and N12 soft ivory uh, that's like the little like mineral powder I do like this uh, it is nice and pale oh the also the true match liquid in uh, W1 I have that somewhere as well that one is nice and pale too I think I've used that in a get ready with me I'll link below. Uh, I also have the Neutrogena Mineral Shears Loose Powder Foundation in Classic Ivory. So this one, I like that as well. It is super pale. Uh, so for people who like powder foundations, those are a couple of drugstore options for you. Or if you want to have a powder foundation to put over your liquid foundation to give you more coverage, those are two options too. So, those are all I have for foundations. Um, I might try to gather up and also do a concealer one. But, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.